What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So listen, if you own a 2022 or 2023 or 2021, if you want to boost a period, you already know. Unless you're one of these cats out here trying to make your bike look like a Jixxer, which I don't know why you would want to make it look like a leader bike, then you probably don't like the rear grab bar. But for me, I feel like the grab bar is always something that was synonymous with being able to say your bike is a booster. I don't know why. I just like the rear grab bar. Sue me. I'm leaving mine on and I'm notching out my rear cow. So this is what I did. I took the rear grab bar off and I just started taking out some measurements, okay? I wanted to get an idea of how minimal I could make my notches so that I didn't have to wreck this $230 piece because believe me, if I messed it up, I was going to buy another one. So I saw these grooves that allowed for the rear grab bar to be able to come out of it. And so I realized I was going to use those as my point of reference. Now, when I put the rear seat cowl on, I could still see the grooves just underneath where um the seat cow bar where the seat cow actually had the little gap so i was like all right i'm gonna use some tape and i'm just gonna lay them down inside the grooves and then i'll just pull them up over the seat cow and that will let me know exactly where my grooves are at so as you can see here i locked it in place and just folded the tape up and then pulled it right back up and then once i did that i knew exactly where my grooves needed to be at so i put the rear seat cow bar back on as you can see here just hand tightening the screws and then i set the cow back on top because I wanted to be able to measure exactly where the tape was hitting at. Now, again, I'm not taking the rear seat cow off. Like, I like the way it looks with it on. So this is me just lining it back up, just seeing where things hit at. I already had an idea of where it would be at once it locked back in place. And then what I did was I grabbed a razor and I just made a couple of little notches just inside of the edges of the tape. Because the edges of the tape were just a little bit wider than the actual grab bar itself. So I knew I had a little bit of room to play with. So this is how things are looking after my first cut with the Dremel. Now I used a half inch cutting disc for the Dremel and probably cut a little bit over a quarter of an inch. And then I just fit it on top of the actual seat bar so I could see how it was lining up. Now on the right hand side, if you're staring at the back of the bike, you'll see that it looks pretty good. But on this left hand side, it just wasn't giving what it needed to give. So I had to actually put it back. I had to, I had to hit it with again with the Dremel to make a little bit of space on that right hand side there where it was hitting the top of the grab bar. But as you can see over here on the right hand side, I was I was in pretty good space. I actually don't even think I hit that side again. So I took it off. I went back to my Dremel and I just started shaving off just a little bit, not too much. And I was going to go back several times, but I actually was able to knock it out <laughs> after the first run. Now, this is where I'm still kind of measuring things out. And I took a couple of looks at it because I really wanted to see, all right, where is this thing hitting at? And then this next shot you're going to see is actually the finished product. I went back, shaved off maybe a centimeter and it came back, locked in place. No problem. Now, if I do order another one and do this again, I definitely feel like I'll be better equipped. But I like the way it looks. Let me know what you think.